안녕하세요 여러분 Let's start and call this the white horizontal house in which we will teach the workflow Enscape, SketchUp and Layout with a little bit of Photoshop post-processing. For this let's speed up a little since there are links down below for the tutorials of SketchUp maps in which here we convert the angles into decimal points, put in the lines, and then rotate them according to the bearing or direction they are facing. Once we place the lines, let's try to do from 1, 2, 3, 4 until it is enclosed, and just, you know, chaga chaga. Just be patient for a while because we do not have this feature, unlike in AutoCAD. Once enclosed, we can check if they are kind of similar and then choose a side in which will be our reference, in this case, the north. Now that I have placed the north or the vertical as my reference, I make a copy so that I could make the offsets or the setbacks of the lot. 2 meters at all sides and 4.5 meters in front. Since this is fronting a cul-de-sac, I'm trying to lay out according to the setback, but it looks kinda irregular, so I choose the geometric kind of layout. In this case, I colored all the zones according to the wet, the dry, and the might be open space. By making more plans, I could see the schematic and get the areas easily. Using the Adobeo push line in volume 2, I raise the walls vertically and group them by floor. Placing them on top of each other, I could see the conceptual massing. In this case, we will only focus on the exterior. So looking at the facade, hmm, can the stairs be higher or lower? I'm not sure what kind of style I'll do here, so... I'll just play along with groups outside the main plans so that in case I want to revise it later, I still have the same plans inside. Any ledges might add some character for now, maybe a little bit of low, low ride, you know, kind of style. A little bit of vertical slats, or what others call as grills just to add some character. Now the story of this will be what they call Maaliwalas or kinda light and airy. But since it's Baguio and the weather is kinda cool with a luscious vegetation and sunrise, I'll just make the windows more vertical and won't add the details for now. In this case I could easily get the opening area and uh, this is a hard kind of method because we actually have plugins for that. But just trying to customize them frames, let's see how it looks like. Now we're going to set up for the render. I mentioned this was a cul-de-sac, so let's make a kind of cul-de-sac. And try to put a perimeter fence around the site. In this case it's the 1001 bit and we have a, an exterior character. This exterior kinda looks maliwalas, yes, but I'm thinking what if cars cannot fit there like the pickup. Anyways, let's add some details to our glass so it looks like it's well thought of. A door can just be an image texture for now and some more exterior character for the facade in which we'll try to tweak the materials we have downloaded online. Opening Enscape, we're adjusting the clouds and the sky as seen in our previous tutorials. Now you could download HDRs from the internet or from other software like ArchiCAD. 
In this case, I'll add some more materials to give a feel of well thought of, you know, even if we are rushing. Some asphalt road, kind of dark or light. Let's see what we can do. In this case, I will try to add more character to the surrounding so that the shadow can cast towards the building. An example would be an existing tree. However, this is covering the building. Di naman makita yung building, kaya let's move the tree to the side, even though this is realistically, realistically incorrect. In that case, since we just want to show the facade, let's leave the gate open or absent and proceed towards our rendering clues. These clues include hints such as assets. For our car, let's see if a pickup truck can fit here. But maybe it's not bagay. So let's see, let's add more lights. Try to change the color. Try to make it a bit warm by coloring it orange. And see how it goes well with the late afternoon. So our sun is not that strong. Adding some interior assets like curtains, if you can see, actually our walls don't have any solid volume because they're just planes. But anything that might be seen when we zoom in, let's try to export them in high quality and see if uh, it's actually what we wanted. By changing the view, I think this is the better perspective I wanted and since I see that there's no canal present and it's in the foreground, I'll just try to add a little bit, bit of detail, even though it might not be reflected in the actual. However, by exporting the alpha channels, such as the material ID, Let's open Photoshop and see a kind of post-process. I'll just use uh, the road to replace with a better texture by overlaying this texture on top of the material ID and some brick-like texture. And then I think we're all good with the post-processing. Just adjust the mood whether warm or cool, depending on what style you want to tell. And we're done. If you like or don't like what you saw, no need to press the dislike. Just proceed on to our playlist by clicking the channel and look for volumes 1, 2 and 3 for the tutorial demonstrations and link to download our course. Thank you and Annyeong Hasea Yarabin.